Okay, today we're going to go over a Macdon FD75. Changing oils on your headers. Your hydraulic reservoir is inside of this tube. This holds 1540 engine oil. Your filter is inside of there. All 2162 FD70 75s take 1540 engine oil. Make sure you use 1540. The only ones that use high tran is the new FD100 series uses high tran. All older ones are 1540 engine oil. And then your main gearbox oil is 85140. On your main gearbox, inside of here is a chain. On top here there's a cover and there's two little bolts. If you pop this little cover off, inside there's an adjusting bolt. Usually you just put a socket on there and you can turn it with your finger just so it's snug and then you can just back it off a little bit. You don't have to torque it down or nothing like that. Next we're going to talk about your linkage, your bell crank and stuff. The guy wants to check these pivots back here, make sure that this is all tight. Your arm is flopping back and forth, there's bearings inside of these arms. Also there's your linkage. On the newer ones now they have a ball joint here. On the older ones, if you have an FD70-2162, it had this style in here. If these bushings are getting pushed out of here, just like a sieve bushing on a combine, you'll want to replace them. To update this old style on your linkage arms to the ball joint style, there's a kit available. It's 245-810, and you get the whole complete linkage rod, the ball joints. Everything comes complete, and that'll update all the older 2162s and FD70s. Next we're going to talk about your float optimizer. Inside of here is your potentiometer for your header height control. There's a cable that runs down both sides. Down on the bottom of them cables, check for fraying down there. That's usually where they'll break. Also, make sure that this arm in here is free to move. If them are stuck, when they stick, it'll kick out your automatic header height. The FD-75s, we don't see as much trouble if you have the old 2162, which you know there's two of these levers, which your float optimizer was turned this way, and your A, B, C, and D was also part of that. There was a separate cable, now they've just got this arm. But that shaft in there would get rusty and would not move freely. If it's not moving freely, your automatic header height will not work. We're back underneath the FD-75 header. This one to mention a little bit. On the FD-75s, the newer ones, they have a breakaway clip here. You can see this cast piece. So if you hit something on the end, that's supposed to break. The 2162s and FD-70s, the guys that have those, there's a bolt that comes in from the front side. And this is coming straight ahead from where your float springs are. There's a bolt that goes straight in there. If that bolt is loose or missing, you'll want to get that looked and addressed because what does on the older style it rips the bolt out of the end of the deal as part of its breakaway and if that is loose or missing you will not get your head to adjust anymore and also it is free floating on there so it doesn't hold it on to the adapter.